Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 18th. Let's just see what comes up. Let's see what comes up. What do we have for the 18th? What do we have for the 18th? Mm. I just, I just see the sun, the sun, but I see the sun card reversed. So somebody's not being honest with themselves. There's some false impressions. There's sadness. There's unhealthiness, right? Um, loneliness, loneliness due to disillusionment. So there's some sort of element of unhappiness because somebody's been living in a state of illusion, you know, broken marriage. Somebody's not being honest, broken commitment, um, loss of power, feeling a loss of power, feeling really not happy. Obviously it's not a happy time in the world, right? I don't think anybody's happy with the current circumstances. So that sun card reversed really makes sense. It's not, it's like, it's, it's like, when is the sun going to come back out, right? So this is sadness, it's sadness and unhealthiness. Somebody's not, not in a healthy, positive thinking, you know, positive state of mind. Negative. Three of cups. Three of cups is, Well, I'm not sure if there's a third party situation here or not, but there certainly could be. Um, three is a crowd. You think about the two of cups, two is a partnership and we're adding one. So it's like three is absolutely positively a crowd. It is. It is. And that's what I feel. So that's what I'm going with. I feel like uh, there's one too many people with their finger, you know, in the pie. Something like that. Interesting. Two of Wands reversed. Two of Wands reversed. Unable to make a decision. Un yeah, we got somebody here who's having a hard time choosing. They are. They're sitting on the fence, right? There's indecisiveness. But there... Yeah, let's just get another card. Knight of Cups. Reverse. False relationship. Somebody's in a relationship that is false. They may be losing out. They may be losing out on a relationship because they need to choose and they, they're not choosing. You can't have both. You can't have both. So somebody is having a hard time choosing between two by the looks of things. I mean, that's what I think this is. So it's like somebody may have, uh, they may be cl closing down emotionally. They're not reciprocating. Uh, they're not opening their heart fully. Somebody's not fully opening their heart in a relationship because they're not opening their heart fully because they're indecisive about, you know, who to choose, what, which way to go. Somebody's having a hard time choosing. Um, it's a fault. They're in a fault. They could be in a false relationship now with the Knight of Cups, you know, the Knight of Cups reversed. There's no love there, but they're in it. They're in it. Nine of Swords rever upright. So that is stressed out, worried. Uh, we do have somebody here that is in some sort of pain by the looks of things. Uh, very discontent. Very unhappy with what is going on. Unhappy with the false relationship. Un unhappy with the lack of love that they are receiving. So we have somebody here that is having a hard time sleeping. This person is stressed out, maybe depressed, maybe emotional. Um, definitely uh, reevaluating, reevaluating uh, the relationship that they are engaged in because whoever they're dealing with isn't giving them the love. They're not. 
whoever they're, they're dealing with, they're feeling stabbed, they're feeling pain over a relationship that there is no real love. It's not real. It's not love. It's not real love. Okay. It's like this person may say all the right things, but they don't follow through. Just that we have a talker here, somebody that talks the talk, but they don't walk the walk. Now we have this person who is stressing out over the lack of love that they are receiving. And they're thinking about, you know, getting up and walking away by the looks of things. Next card is the Ten of Swords. This person is on the ground. I think we, this person is like about ready to stand on their two feet and, and uh, end something. I really do. There could be some difficult communication that comes through. Somebody may be delivering a harsh a harsh message. Okay? They may be delivering a harsh harsh message because, you know, they don't want to be in a third party situation. And third party situations don't have to I mean, third party situation means there's three people, okay? It doesn't mean that there's two lovers. It it certainly could be two lovers, but it could be a mother, it could be a father that's in the way, it could be a child, it could be an ex. It I mean, there's somebody here that is causing a partnership to not grow. Okay, this relationship isn't growing. It's not going anywhere. There's no real love being offered. And it's because there's a person that is meddling or is in the way. Okay, so we got this person here that is, is stressing. This person is definitely stressing and they're thinking. I think this person is, is feeling some sort of anxiety and thinking, I can't do this anymore. I just can't do this anymore. I can't, I can't just stay on the ground. I can't just lay here and, and let this relationship consume me. So I, that's what I feel we got going on here. Um, this could be a sudden departure with the two of wands reversed. There's definitely some disappointment, disappointment in a relationship that is going nowhere. It's going nowhere because of this third party, whoever the third party is. The chariot reversed. Now, this is this is a uh, emotional wreck. This is a disaster. This is something coming to a halt, coming to a stop. Emotions all over the place. This is somebody that is scattered. They're scattered. They don't know what they want. So yeah, I think we have this person over here who's like, you know what? I can't do this. I just can't do this. I don't know if we're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer here. Um, Princess of Swords reversed now. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, somebody's not telling the truth. They're not communicating well. They're hiding something, I think. Um... There is a relationship that is not moving in the right direction. Okay? It's not. Because of somebody's choosing to stay in the safe zone. It's like it's safe over here because it's just choosing the mundane, the safe life, you know? They're choosing. And maybe it's because their family or their friends or something like that is encouraging them or a third party. You know, we have somebody here that is choosing the safe route. They are. Which is causing some sort of sadness by the look of looks of things, anguish. We have somebody here that is not doing well. Now this is a message that you don't want to hear. Somebody's putting something to a stop. This is a harsh message. Now this is there could be an enemy here, D an enemy disguised as a friend. Okay, this is an enemy disguised as a friend. Okay, and this person may not see it. Somebody may not see it that they're dealing with somebody that isn't really their friend. Now, basically, uh, somebody may be caught off guard. They may be caught off guard because somebody suddenly decides to um, 
assert themselves. They decide to speak up for themselves. There's been a lack of strength. There's been a lack of a forward movement and a lack of success. So a relationship that isn't uh, ending up successfully because there's a third party here. There's a third party that is causing problems. I guarantee it. Somebody may be feeling guilty as well. Um, bad news. The Page of Swords reversed is bad news. Somebody's going to get some bad news. They're going to get some bad news because of, the, of their inability to see or their inability to decide. Somebody's going to de choose between two. One of these third party people is probably suddenly going to say something that hurts. Okay? They're going to say something that hurts. Death. Death reversed. It's sudden, sudden death. And I'm not, I'm not trying to scare anybody. But this could definitely be like a, because a sudden situation, because this could be very sudden. So something suddenly ends abruptly, I think. Okay? Comes to a complete halt. Comes to a complete stop. So something is coming to a stop. Um, it's like holding on. It has. I'm not going to hold on to this dead end anymore. This is a dead end. Now, I don't know if there's going to be an accident. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but this is an accident, and this could be an accident, the death reversed. There's definitely been a level of indecision and there's been a delay, but now something is going to happen. This is a message that you don't want to hear. There could be an upcoming celebration. I know we're being told not to go to celebrations, but you know, this is, could be a celebration where there's a lot of people, um, just saying it's death. It's right underneath it. So I'm not sure if there's a funeral coming up or well, I'm, I, I have to be honest. It's just the way it goes. Anyhow. The death reversed is um, holding on is getting old. Somebody has been held back from fear. But now it's something is, I think this is this page, the princess, the, the, the page of swords reversed is very sudden. It is. And this is death. So something could happen suddenly. Something suddenly stops, comes to a halt. You know, um, the, just saying a relationship suddenly ends. Somebody is deciding suddenly to end a relationship. Maybe they're going to start socializing with somebody else. And I know where all the, everything is closing down or whatnot, but you can socialize on social media. There's other ways to socialize. Anyhow, this is um, a message that you don't want to hear. Bad news. This is bad news. Somebody is not going to be receiving bad news. Or they are going to be receiving some bad news. I think somebody is letting go. They're letting go of a third party situation. They're letting go of somebody. They're, you know, they may suddenly make a choice. Ten of Wands. This is somebody that is overwhelmed. Definitely overwhelmed. got a lot on their plate we have somebody here that has a lot on their plate trying to do too much somebody's trying to do too much um but this is the ace of wands in her hand so she has a new opportunity somebody has a new opportunity something that is fresh something that is exciting they're about to uh, let go of what they have been holding on to because they got this new vision Yeah, that's what's going on here. So whoever hasn't been reciprocating in love because of the third party, I think that person is about to get uh, the stoplight. You know what I mean? It's like, no, no, I don't want to deal with you anymore. Somebody's about to get a stoplight. The tower. I friggin' knew it. Sudden. It's gonna happen very suddenly. This is a sudden uh, life change. This is a shock. 
a shock. This is a shock. It could be a breakup. Somebody's been holding on to a false sense of security. Uh, there definitely could be an upcoming accident. Things are crumbling and they're crumbling fast. It happens very, very suddenly. This is a sudden disruption, a sudden uh, um, change. Okay. Look at this. This is the devil. Breaking free from an unhealthy situation that is uh, not good for you. This one is the same one. So we have we have somebody here that has this is is just basically stepping away, stepping away from a false sense of security. Not going to be bound to that unhealthy situation. Everything is like this is going up in flames. Something could end up going up in flames. I say like somebody's crown is coming off. The crown is coming off. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, lightning strikes and burns down a a structure that isn't meant to uh, be. This is major destruction, the chaos. This is like a disaster as well, because I just feel like there's a disaster here. Somebody is breaking free from a potential disaster. The tower, when the tower, uh, when this thing happens, it sheds the light. Something is going to happen and it even could happen internally. Somebody, you know, something could happen where somebody sees all of a sudden that this is false and they got to go and they break free from an unhealthy, toxic situation that is based on lust, based on greed, based on selfishness, based on ego. Somebody could even be experiencing an internal disruption within their body. Okay. This is an explosion. So there definitely could be some sort of explosion. But this explosion, whatever it is, this sudden situ this sudden event, okay? This sudden event and it could be the event that is happening now is making somebody see the light about what is real and what is false. So be prepared for a major life change. The universe is shedding the light on what is real and what is false in somebody in what is strong and what is not. Somebody is going to be receiving uh, some bad news. And I think this bad news is coming from a partner of some sort. Two of twos are partners. This bad bad news from a partner about a a. And this could even be a mental breakdown. Something is falling apart. Some but something is crashing. So anyway, my advice is to get prepared for some bad news in, in regards to uh, a sudden 
ending because somebody has realized that this is false. It's a false relationship. It's false. It's false. It's false. It's false. There's no love here. There's no stability here. There's no security here. There's, 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 uh, oh, there's a third party situation. Somebody is letting go because they got this new vision. They can't hold on to the dead end and they're delivering the message that they don't want to be involved with this chaos. You know, I'm leaving. I feel like this is, I'm leaving. I'm le I don't want to be a part of this. We can't, we can't, you know, continue down this path. It's over. It's done. Somebody is, it's done. Okay. And this is out of control with the chariot reverse. This is like the universe is in control. Okay. This is a universe card, the higher power. Okay. The universe is in control. This is out of control. Somebody has lost their direction by focusing on this false sense of security. And the universe is here to cause this chaos and upheaval to force somebody to see the falseness of whoever they're dealing with. It's like there's some sort of illness here as well. There's illness. Obviously, there's illness. We know that there is, right? There's illness in the universe right now, in the world, okay? There is. There's universal illness. This illness is going to uh, obviously clean out. It is going to clean out. Um... This is a why. Why is this happening? The tower was the last card. And then we got this one. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Because it's not meant to be. You can't continue to be pretend. You can't continue to be fake. It's time to get real. This is a test of faith. So I feel right around the corner, we have somebody that is going to make a sudden decision to, or the universe is making the decision. There's a sudden decision, very sudden. So there is a sudden decision to end something abruptly. There's going to be an abrupt ending. In a partnership. And it happens just like that. Be prepared to hear the news. Good luck.